Hello everyone. Today we are team biodiversity from Wiki Mental Africa. My name is Abba Agnes Achuma from Abuja, Nigeria. And we are glad to be presenting crowdsourcing biodiversity in Africa. I'm a member of the Igbo Wikimedia User Group and a co-founder of Igala Wikimedia and Community Sorry. So I'm here with my co-presenters. So yes, okay. my name is Mohamed <laughs> Kamal Din Fuseni. I go with the username DN Shitrabu. I am with the Dagwana Wikimedia Institute Group and a co-lead for the Gurane Wikimedia community and also a member of the Wikimedia Africa. Nice meeting you all. Sayamugi. Yes, um, my name is Sesin Mugi Susuini. I go by the username Se Amugi. I am the social media manager for the Bani Wikimedians Yourself Group based in Ghana, specifically Tamale. Uh, today, our presentation will be on biodiversity in underrepresented languages using crowdsourcing. Wikimedia Africa, who we are, and what is it about? So when you look at Wikimedia Africa program is designed to help new and inexperienced developers, programmers, and technical writers in the African communities to make edits on Wikimedia projects. Also, mentors Africans on building and maintaining Wikimedia tools and products by pairing them with African Wikimedians with more experienced tools, writers, or contributors. So you can learn more about us at the link below. Madam Agnes. So thank you for the wonderful introduction. So our workflow, so basically, our workflow is that um, we do observation, we observe on flora and field, and that's a plant and animal. So we upload our work on an um, I know Charlie's platform, which we take to, um, we now upload it to Wikidata, Wikicommon, and Wikipedia. So this basically is done through the I know Charlie's app. That is an I know Charlie's platform here. So like we have here, we collect nature through the iNaturalist, yes, which is free and open for everyone. Then um, we collect our observation in an iNaturalist platform project. We are opportune to have a project on iNaturalist, which is um, called the Wikimental African Data Collection. Then we use um, Jupyter Notebook to build Wikipedia store in Dagbani, English and Igbo. So this is the link to the, um, the stop maker that we used to make. So basically, the essence of the greatest talk in um, the Bani English and Igbo because um, they are on that we are the biodiversity in sub saharan Africa and Africa in general, it's limited. It we have underrepresentation of that. So that's why we do that. That's the major uh, work we do, that's the part of the project we do. So that anybody can stop onto it and try to create a Wikipedia article, Wikidata, and we um, can come on. On it. So we have um, this basically like a, a representation of the map. So if you look at African representation very well, there are more of them. Um, if you can see the dotted red, red, um, red part in the map, in other map of the other of other continents, we can see that there are more representation unlike Africa. Africa is more scanty than any other place. So we are trying to do more do more of our observation so we can get more representation on Wikipedia and other Wikimedia projects. So <clears throat> this is the, um, for here we have a problem, right? That the knowledge on uh, biodiversity in Wikipedia is unequally distributed, like I explained earlier, across different languages. So Wikidata contains uh, approximately 3.5 million, that's as of January 2022. Wikidata items on Texas, which means to, we have the Swedish Wikipedia, the WERA. As you can see, we can see the figures which are there. We have the Dutch Wikipedia, which is a number and eleven. Then we have the 
events now mess Wikipedia. We have the English Wikipedia, which is 420,000. Then we have the Spanish Wikipedia. Then we have the Minan Google. We have the French Wikipedia. We have the Indonesian Wikipedia. So coming down to African um, Wikipedia, which is more, which is what we are particular about. For the rest of um, what we showed before, we can see there are more representation in the, uh, when compared to other continents, there's other languages. There are more representations than the African mm -hmm. languages. So here we have the African Wikipedia, which is a language in Africa. We have 16,000 representatives, that's our biodiversity representation. Then we have the Swahili, which is not an For the Outside Wikipedia, which is in Nigeria, we have the 465 biodiversity representation. We have the Bambara Wikipedia, which is 431. We have the Ambaharic Wikipedia, which is 416. Then foreign and we have the Dagwani Wikipedia from Ghana, with the language in Ghana, which is 446. We have the Yoruba Wikipedia, which is also in Nigeria, that's 366. We have the Malagasy Wikipedia, Airway Wikipedia, and finally the Igbo Wikipedia, which and the representation of the biodiversity is one around twenty two. So over to you. Yes, yes, thank you so much for giving us the workflow. Um, now let's look at how to get the data onto iNaturalist. We've been hearing iNaturalist. iNaturalist is is an open source platform, uh, mobile application that is found on the um, Android uh, Play Store and also the App Store on iOS. Um, it is a free to download application. You can get to sign up if you don't have an account. If you have an account, you can get to sign in or sign in with a third party applications like your email address and other um, platforms. What we basically we do with iNaturalist is to um, capture biodiversity information on flora and fauna that's plants and animals. And if you look at the picture carefully, you'll find um, a lady with a camera trying to capture something from afar. There's a gentleman also kneeling before a flower to take a picture of that particular flower. Now, when you capture this with the iNaturalist app, the geo coordinates of these biodiversity um, structures, uh, be it the plant or that uh, tree or the, the bird on that tree, the geo coordinates of the biodiversity item is taken and also and automatically updated on the iNaturalist app. This is compared with the global biodiversity information. Then editors like you and I come to identify, um, help identify these biodiversity uh, weather flora and fauna that we have uploaded onto iNaturalist. Now, with the Jupyter uh, notebook we have created, uh, thanks to Andrea, our mentor, he has created that Jupyter notebook. You'll be able to export the picture from um, iNaturalist to Wikimedia Commons if it has acceptable, acceptable uh, licenses. And based on this, you can be able to create structured information on that on Commons and also on Wikidata and then go ahead to create a Wikipedia article on that. Now, this is an example of uh, using the Jupyter Notebook to create an article on the English Wikipedia. Uh, we have an article on the Hebastritia Odata. Now, the Jupyter Notebook basically gives you the chance to add a title, a short information or a short description about the, by the flora or fauna and also it allows you to add an info box. Now on this info box is usually Wikidata powered. You can get to uh, add image. That is the image of the plant or the animal that you had captured from iNaturalist. That was important on commons. Then you can also get to connect this to other ident external identifiers. And obviously, um, if you look at number five, you can get to um, also, link this up with other Wikipedia uh, platforms in different other languages. Now let's look at uh, Dagbani Wikipedia. This is a screenshot of an article, the same article that was created 
on the Dagbana Wikipedia. On the Dagbana Wikipedia, we use the um, Wikidata powered info box called the data box. As you can see at number two, that is the data box. Then we have the flower or the plants there. This plant was imported from iNaturalist onto with Media Commons. And then it gives you the chance to have predefined headers. Um, if you look at the predefined headers, there are general headers that um, flora and fauna usually have when it comes to um, biodiversity information. So for instance, on this article, uh, on this article or screenshot, we have the bellow, meaning types or varieties of that particular plant. We have the amphani, which is number three, telling us like the importance of this particular plant. If it was an animal, what is the important? Everything that exists has a purpose. And if we have not identified that, does not mean they are just there for nothing. They all have very rich useful, uh, uses. Then we also have the karampahe, which means read more. Now, this is where we get to add relevant links to uh, other libraries and other resources where you can go to read more information about the flora or fauna. Then number five gives you links um, to different uh, language Wikipedia platforms like the English Wikipedia, the Swahili Wikipedia, the, the, uh, the Mori, the Guruni, and other Wikipedia platforms that you can get to read about that same particular plant. Now, what is the aim? Why are we doing it? Why are we concerned? Why do we think we need you on board? A lot of us have been editing on Wikipedia and uh, perhaps have not taken conscious effort to look at the biodiversity information. So we are inviting everyone here who, is, uh, who, is, who has been contributing on Wikipedia um, to also join us to increase biodiversity information because um, if we have a species that is currently not written uh, on Wikipedia, it means we are not contributing to the total sum of human knowledge. We also want to increase um, the findability of existing knowledge on these um, flora and fauna. There are a lot of plants and animals species that are undiscovered up to this point and most of them are found in indigenous communities. So we need all of you on board. Just get your iNaturalist app and then you get started. Now we've been mentioning data box, data box. Data box is simple, it's Wikidata powered. If you can until you not have that on your language Wikipedia, these are very simple steps you can use to uh, be able to um, install the data box that if you click on the resources, you are going to find a lot of valuable resources. You first of all, create the template or you import the template, import the module, and you are good to go there. There's a video tutorial here under the resources to guide you through on how to be able to um, install data box. So yes, we need everybody on board. Come, come be an iNaturalist today. And when you become an eye naturalist today, we still further invite you to come and join Wikimedia Africa, where we pair up talents and let people uh, pair, think, pair, and share. And um, and when we share, everybody wins. And again, once we become Wikimedia Africans, then we can help identify um, indigenous plants and animals from indigenous communities. If, if you look at the iNaturalist now, we have over 151 million of iNaturalist uh, users, like people contributing. We have a lot of species. You see the numbers here? All these numbers uh, speak for themselves. At this point, we want to say a very big thank you to uh, Benedict Ode for being the organizer of the Wikimedia Africa and also to our mentor, Andrea Wagmester. We also want to say a very big thank you to the Dagbani Wikimedia Itself Group, the Igbo Wikimedia uh, community, the Igbo Wikimedia Itself Group, and also the iNaturalist community for always supporting us and getting us um, 
discover more flora and fauna information and get to write more about them. Thank you so much for the audience and we are really grateful. If you have any question, you can reach out to any of the presenters via our usernames or on social media um, and we'll be glad to assist or answer any queries that we may have. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.